I'm going to show you how to flash the newest Jelly Bean update for the AT&T Galaxy Note. This is the original Galaxy Note. This is the i717. Now the Jelly Bean update that we're going to be flashing is the official update, but it's going to be the official update minus a few uh, things, okay? A few things that we don't want. And so today I'm going to show you how to flash the official update that has been de-bloated, in other words, all the AT&T junk apps have been removed from it, and it's already uh, pre-rooted, and there's several other things that are, that are good about this ROM that have been improved uh, by this particular developer over on XDA. So I'm going to show you the steps to go through to flash this. When you flash it this way, you're not going to have to do it through keys. Um, We'll be flashing, uh, in fact, we'll be flashing the, the actual ROM through our custom recovery through Team Win. Okay, so let me show you the things that you need to download first. First thing you need is Odin, and the reason we need Odin is to flash our custom recovery. Now, there's two versions of Odin that I've seen people using. Okay, there's this uh, Odin 3 version 7, uh, 3.07. This is the newer one. Uh, when you open it, it says Galaxy S3 at the top of it. Um, this is a little bit older one, this Odin 3 version 1.85. And with this one, some people were getting errors, and they had to flash it through this one. But now I've had people kind of getting errors with this one. So um, I suggest you go ahead and start off with this one right here, with this newer one. If you run into problems, uh, then you can download and, and use this one. Okay, But let's start, off, let's start off by using this one right here, this Odin 3 version 3.07. Okay? So that's one thing you're going to need to download here. Second thing you need to download is our custom recovery that we're going to be using. Okay, So <clears throat> I'll have a link in the description to all these different sites here. But down at the bottom of this, uh, you want to download this open recovery, TWRP 2.5.0.0. You want the one file extension .img, that's .image .tar. Okay? We're going to be flashing this through this Odin program that we downloaded first here. And let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, go over here to the developer's website on XDA, and I'll have a link in the description to this. Uh, this is just his stock, deodexed, uh, de bloated, rooted ROM. Okay? So if you scroll down to the bottom of, of his, uh, of, of his, uh, fir of his first post here in this thread, Okay, under download, you see uh, de-bloated and bloated. So if, if, you, if you want those stock AT&T apps, but you want one that's rude and those other few things, uh, that's, that's zip aligned, deodexed, if, if you want that but you, and you still want your uh, AT&T apps, you can download that. I'm not sure why, but you can if you want to. This is probably why, why you're watching this. This de-bloated, that's with all those AT&T app, junk apps uh, stripped out of there. So download that. It's a pretty big file. I think it's like 618 megabytes uh, zipped. Okay, so <coughs> that'll take you a little while to do that. I've already got mine downloaded. Okay, you can see it right there. And here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you open up your download folder, and you can see right there. Leave it as a dot zip. Okay, don't unzip this. Leave it as a dot zip. Is so what I'm gonna do is take this, and I'm gonna go down here. And uh, I've already got my phone, you can see up here, I've got my phone already opened, okay? And I'm just going to drop this onto my phone storage. And I've already got it right here, you can see it right there, so I'm not going to do this again, all right? So go ahead and put that over onto your phone's memory, onto, onto your phone or onto your card, okay? Now, with this Odin file that we downloaded, okay? Uh, when you download that, it's going to be a .rar file, okay? And whenever you click on that, let me uh, let me go find that real quick and just show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, here we go. Okay. So you can see how it's a .rar. To open a .rar, you have to have a program to do that. I use this WinRar, okay? If you don't have a program to open a .rar file... Just Google WinRAR, download that. It'll work to open this file up for you. Okay, so it'll uh, it'll bring this up. I'm gonna just so so you can see this a little bit easier. 
you want to extract all four of these files to the same place. I suggest just putting it out on your desktop. Okay, so take these four files, and I'm just going to take them. Make sure you put all four of these files out onto your desktop, or make sure you just put them in the same place, not not zipped. Okay, so just just put them on your desktop. That's the best place to do it. Okay, so take these four files, put them out there. I've already got them out there, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, the other thing that we downloaded is this Open Recovery uh, TWRP 2.5.0.0, the image.tar. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to throw that thing out onto my desktop. Okay? And I've already got it there also, so I'm not going to worry about that. It's right here. Okay, so now on my phone, here's what I want to do. Make sure it's unplugged. And I want to go ahead and power my phone off. Okay, as that is shutting down, I'm going to open up my Odin program here. Okay, so now right here on the PDA slot, I'm going to push this PDA button. And I've got it set to where it opens up to my desktop here, and that's where I put that that uh, recovery file, the TWRP. So open recovery TWRP 2.5.0.0. .image .tar. I'm going to click on that. I want to open that, and it should open that thing right up into my PDA slot here. That's what I want. Okay. Now to flash this to my phone, I have to put my phone into uh, to download mode. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push and hold volume down. Okay. As I'm holding volume down, I'm going to plug in my USB cable here. Make sure you don't push the power button while you're doing this. Just hold volume down and plug in the USB cable and it'll bring us into this mode right here. This is what we want. Okay. So volume up to continue and we're in downloading mode. Now over here on my computer, you can see how uh, when I connected, it brought this up and it shows COM12. So it's it's reading the computer's reading my phone, and it it recognizes that it's plugged in. Okay, if you're having a problem with it connecting, you probably don't have the USB drivers that you need. And I'll put a link in the description to uh, to those USB drivers that you can download and install to your computer. So um, I'm good. I'm connected here. I'm ready to go. It's going to flash this uh, this recovery to my phone. Uh, make sure as your phone is, is doing this. This won't take long at all, but just make sure your phone's good to go. You're not going to mess with it for just a second. It's flashing this recovery, and that's it. Okay? It took all of five or six seconds there to flash that. And now my phone's going to be rebooting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone here. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for, uh, just wait for my phone to boot up here. Okay, so, so what I want to do now is I want to turn it back off. Okay, so I'm going to power off here. Okay, I'm not sure why it takes so long sometimes. Okay, now it's completely off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push and hold volume up and down at the same time here. As I'm pushing volume up and down, I'm going to push power button. Okay, so I'm holding all three of these buttons at the same time. See that Samsung logo? I can let go of the power button. I'm going to continue holding volume up and down here. And there you go. You can see brings us up into team win here. So this is the recovery we just flashed through Odin. So it's what I want to do now. Before I do anything else, I want to go ahead and back this thing up. So I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to go to backup. Hopefully it's going to let me do it. So you can see there now it says backing up system. The reason I'm doing this is if 
Uh, I flash this and I decide I don't like it or something's not right, I can always flash back to this. So definitely, definitely best to do a backup here. Okay, uh, this takes two or three or four minutes, something like that. So I'll pick back up whenever it's done backing up. Okay there, so you can see it finished, and you can see right here it says it finished in 234 seconds. Okay, I don't want to reboot my system here. Go back, go back. Okay, first thing I want to do is go to wipe, and we're going to do a swipe to factory reset. Okay, first thing we want to do. Okay, so next thing after we do that, we want to go to advanced and we want to wipe uh, system. Swipe to wipe the system. Okay, now we're going to go back. This time we want to go to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down now and find that big, huge file that we put on there earlier, that 618 megabyte file. Um, let me see. What was that thing called? Okay, SGH, I-717. Hmm, maybe it's right here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so, need to, if you put it on one, maybe just, if you can't find it, go between these two to find it. Okay? Um, so, once you select it, push that radio button, then push back. It'll take you into there. Okay. So, mine's right here. You can see that UC, uh, UCMD 34.1.2 stock deodexed. Okay? So, I'm going to click on that. You can see that's what I have selected right here. And I'm going to swipe to confirm flash. Okay. See there it says successful. So our developer PTMR3 suggests once you reboot the system, reboot it, leave it alone for 10 minutes after it boots back up. Just let it sit there for 10 minutes. Even if the screen dies, whatever, just let it sit there for 10 minutes. Let everything uh, get to going and uh, get initialized properly. So after 10 minutes... Then uh, we'll do a reboot and uh, should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to let this phone boot up. I'm going to give it 10 minutes and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so let it sit. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup process here. And left that one on there. But you can see most of it is gone, all that junk gone. Okay, and you can see right here, SuperSU, 